I must find the answer. And it is here where I will find them. Inside the room that guards the most ancient artifact. One created near the very beginning of time. Of creation. The mirror. A window into the very core of everything in existence. With it, one can scry every universe. All realities. Timelines. And worlds. It reveals to us the state of the balance. Since its creation, gods have placed themselves in front of it to stare into its depths. Sometimes to find guidance, other times to simply marvel at the ever growing world. The mirror sees all. Nothing is hidden. No god, no mortal, no thing, no secret. If one knows where to look. This is why the situation makes me so uneasy. How could this catch us so unaware? If I didn't know any better, I would expect Gearson to be in here already. He spends the most time in this room, after all. But the god has gone silent. I would not be surprised if instead he elected to stay by our weeping king, if he has chosen to do anything at all. It matters not, though. I will do whatever I can to seek the answers myself. And the answers must be here. Ugh. What? This is not possible. How? Why? What has the power to do this? Has... has the balance been tipped to the point that it would even fog the mirror? No. No, it cannot be. This is unacceptable. I cleanse this object of all impurity. Be gone, insidious cloud. Ugh. No effect. Mirror! Show me! Show me what has happened! Show me how to correct the order! How to right the balance! And show me the source of this grotesque corruption! Now! <sighs> Surprise! That voice is not mine. <laughs> Magic is so easily corruptible. Don't you think? <laughs> no, this is not possible. You are only an illusion, a trick. I dispel this foul magic. <laughs> Sorry, guess your magic needs a bit more juice. I'm still here. Then I will drag your visage out. I will break this unholy spell. Uh. <laughs> Possible. You like to use that word a lot, don't you? You shouldn't know the meaning of the word. Aren't you supposed to be a god? A god of magic? <laughs> Besides, the thing is, with being an abnormally, no rules really apply anymore. That scythe. <laughs> you recognize it, do you? <laughs> it may be a little different to what you remember. It's still warm from when it reaped your friend. And with her gone, everything is shifting, isn't it? Everything is changing. Your cycle is broken. Your precious balance off kilter. So is you. And in this state of transition, the very fabric of reality is at its most unstable. Its most wild. Impossible. Things are no longer impossible. This entropy powers me, but not enough, it seems. The scythe can still only reap life. Your god souls are so pesky. You will pay dearly for this. But it's alright. I have another idea of how to get rid of you. Ha! No! Looks like I was the one doing the breaking in the end. <laughs> have fun being scattered across the infinite, god of magic. What was I looking for again? Oh, Jensen, what are you doing? I was... looking for a room? Or was it... a something? Or a someone? Hmm. Hmm. Oh! I was looking for the king! Yes! Oh good. Make sure to take care of him, Gerson. 
Tell him that if he's still crying by the time I catch the culprit, there might not be any of them left to smite. Mm -hmm. Unknowing of what had transgressed, death searched. His mind had been set on that one goal. That at first, he had been blind to what he was doing. Motions unchecked, what remained of life only depleted faster. When he finally noticed, oh, he was ashamed. He could not continue feeling so strongly, emotions uncontrolled. He could not. He resolved to become calm, to be numb. He searched high and low. Tori? Tori? Can you hear me? He looked everywhere for even a trace of her. But even though he called, Tori, please answer. Nobody came, and not allowing himself to feel anything, he was filled instead with the memory from long ago, when he had chosen to forget, to bury, because it was painful even though he never understood why. Imagine this. What if I died and left you behind? <laughs> Impossible, Tori. What if I went away, to a place you can't reach me? and we can never see each other again. Why would you do that anyway? I had no choice. Somebody took me away. Uh. And if you lost me? Sans! Wouldn't you search Sans? What would you give up? Uh. 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 I would give up. Everything. Sans? Hello? Uh, perhaps? Who else would it be? Anyway, sorry to interrupt your, uh, kneeling? So you haven't found her yet, huh? You'd look a lot happier if you did. Anyway, I wanted to find you because I need your help. I know I said I could do it. I tried. But there are some souls that just won't calm down and come with me. They're too angry. Even worse because of what has happened. I can't seem to... Give them the peace they need. I can't do it alone. I I know you're busy searching for her, and that it's really important to you, to all of us. Uh, I am the Great Papyrus. I should be able to do this on my own. Let's go. Huh? But what about the Queen? You can't give up. No, but you're my brother. My super cool brother who needs my help too. I can't just leave you alone. She's out there. I feel it in my bones. And when she calls, I will be the first to answer. <laughs>